Hey everybody, welcome back to Everyday Journey. Today we're going to check out my buddy's vacuum cleaner. It's a Eureka Airspeed 1. Um, not a very expensive vacuum cleaner, but he claims that it was just making a bunch of noise. And who knows what it is, it may not be something that's easily fixable, but maybe it is, maybe I can fix it for him and we can get it back in the game. So first off, let's go ahead and plug this thing in. Let's see what kind of noise we're looking at. Power is down here. Holy cow, that thing is really loud. So, let's get in there and see what's causing it. Unplug it. So, as with most vacuum cleaners, everything is right here in this area. And we got our motor inside here, and this is what actually houses the brushes. So, sounds like it's the motor, but we won't know for sure until we get in there and look. And most likely, it's not even the motor. The motor seems to run fine. It's uh, probably the bearings for it. So, we got Phillips head screws right up here on top. Gather up those, set them aside, get our magnet, see if we can't get that one out. There we go. Just need a little more magnetism. Now one of the things I did tell them is uh, there's an easy fix for this. Just get some headphones for him. You can put those on while he's vacuuming. He didn't think that was that funny. Alright, so with some careful prying here, just put a flathead screwdriver back in here between these and pull off this top cover. As we can see, the belt is still intact, so that's not our issue. If you need to replace the belt though, just go ahead and pop this off, pop this up, pull your belt off, put a new one on, and just push it back down and screw it all back together. Take it off of the shaft here. And now we're isolating it to where it's just the motor. Put this back in place for the moment. And we'll plug it in again and see what it sounds like. Quite certain it's just something to do with the motor. So we can push it again, turn it on. Still sounds very loud. So now we got to get to the motor. <coughs> this should make it easier. Let's go ahead and pop off this whole bottom part. Just pry it off to the side and go like so. Now let's see if we can find out what size that is. Alright, so it's T20. Let's go ahead and take those out. <clears throat> now we can access our motor. Now what we're looking for in here 
will be a couple of different things. One, we will be looking for the brushes. See if we can see if there's anything left on those. They look okay. Other thing is all the crap that's in here. That's going for your fan there, and of course that's completely blocking it. Um, one other thing you want to look for is look around on the housing and see if you see where any of the bearings are. <coughs> and nothing seems to be worn on here. Here we've got a <coughs> sound dampener. Go ahead and pull that off. And it's actually for vibration. Seems like our bearings are okay. Although they do seem a little rough. So we've got a cover on this side. Go ahead and take it off. Now we can plug this in and try it like this, but it's going to have a lot of torque to it and it's going to try to move. So make sure you have a real firm grip on that if you're going to try this. Even then, it may still get away from us. It actually seems pretty good, so there might be a chance that, uh, that all that crud that was inside here was actually what was causing our problem. So at this point, I think I'm going to put it back together just to try it again and see if that doesn't help. While we're at it, we'll look and see if there's any crud in this, because that's where your airflow is coming through. And uh, But right now, I'm going to put it back together, because I think that might have been part of our problem. Moment of truth, let's plug it back in. Get up here and turn it on and see what happens. Much better. Much better. Alright guys, hopefully that helped you all out. If you've got the same model, um, that's a good way. Of course, if you had a different model, that could be the same thing too. Um, what it's doing is it is getting the airflow blocked off from the motor and the motor is what's both turning the brushes and causing the suction for the vacuum cleaner <clears throat> so as that airflow is going through there it's given resistance to the motor making basically giving it something to work against once you once it was plugged up like that with all this crud it the airflow wasn't going through there so it wasn't slowing down the motor at all the motor was going at full speed and while it may have, well, it may have burned out the motor eventually, or it, you know, it obviously wasn't going to work for vacuum. So, um, so that's one of the ways you could possibly get in there and fix it. Hopefully, this helped. If you've got the same problem, everything seems to be working on your vacuum cleaner, but yet it just no suction and it just seems really loud. That could be your thing, just clogging up the the fan or the vacuum assembly there a little bit. So, hopefully, it helped you out. Uh, definitely send the comments my way. Give me a thumbs up, like if you like, and I appreciate you guys watching. Y'all take care.